This video is going to be about genomic imprinting. So up until this point, we've been thinking that an allele is going to behave the same way in the offspring regardless of whether or not that allele came from the male parent or the female parent. And so in most cases, this is true, but for some genes, the expression of a particular allele depends on what parent it came from. So these genes are going to be called imprinted genes. So genomic imprinting takes place during gamete formation. And so during that gamete formation, um, particular alleles will uh, be silenced for a particular gene. And then when those alleles are inherited by the offspring, either the maternal or the paternal allele is going to be expressed depending on the particular gene. And so um, then when that individual goes on to make their own gametes, that imprinting is erased and then redone again depending on the sex of that individual. So for example, if we have um, one allele in the mother and another allele in the father, let's say that this one becomes imprinted, so it gets silenced in the father. So you're only going to have this gene expression when you get the allele from your mother. So now when this uh, woman goes on to produce her gametes, this pattern of genomic imprinting is going to be reset depending on um, the sex of this individual. And so um, these genes are not like uh, sex-linked genes because most imprinted genes are on the autosomes and not on the sex chromosomes. So that is a point of difference between these and sex-linked genes. Um, and also the way that these genes are actually imprinted is typically through DNA methylation. So the attaching of methyl groups to cysteine residues in our DNA. And so um, when we do this, the methylation is typically going to silence a gene and turn it off. But in some cases, methylation can actually activate the gene uh, so that way it gets expressed. But again, that depends on what that gene actually is. So this uh, methylation, whether it activates or silences the gene, and whether the maternal or the paternal allele will be expressed in the offspring varies from gene to gene. So it's important to keep that in mind when we're thinking about these different uh, imprinted genes. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.